side hustles, selling stuff, overtime, things like that. We have not received any bonuses. We have not received any extra um, like inheritance. Hello, hello you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so very much for joining me, you guys. I had to just stop. <laughs> I just literally came back into the house um, and I said, let me just get on this video and sit down and chit chat with you guys about um, this financial freedom, debt free journey that I posted on my Instagram right here. Okay, I hope you guys can see this, but I posted that we have paid off $8,272 um, in one month, right? And I said we only have 4,000 to go. You guys went nuts, most of you guys. So, literally, I had so many um, like inboxes, okay? Let me explain some of the things uh, that we were doing. And I'm not quite sure if people understand that within those that time frame, we received a check. Um, Dornell and I received a check um, July 14th, August 1st, and um, August 14th. So that's three different checks, which is actually six different checks, and a whole bunch of side hustles that me and Dornell have been doing, okay? So, and this is not even including the um, cable and internet. That's not including the um the uh the cell phones is not including the insurance and it's not including like the knickknacks hair products all this little knickknack stuff his little um car washes and all of that stuff that can accumulate money um over time so that was just like a general idea of things that have been paid off but realistically i didn't include that we did pay an extra thousand dollars on capital one but i i didn't include it because it's not paid off so i didn't say hey so actually we probably paid upwards more of ten thousand dollars within those last so literally today i was blown out the park with how many people inboxed me um heart me asked me questions on my facebook and my instagram i had so many people reach out and wanted a little bit of more information let me start out because i'm so excited this is what i roughly cracked it up look it is so I'm, I'm i'm rocking out until we are completely done but this is little little poster board is from the dollar tree and i just took our debts and i listed it and i shared this i think before in one of my previous videos but i listed all of our debts that we have here just like this and every time we um got them paid off and i would just mark them off like the motorcycle was paid off and um like the star card and you can see these were pretty healthy balances and we were upwards of like nineteen thousand dollars plus um that needed to be paid off when i made that video a couple months ago may and july i went a little crazy and i bought a lot of luxury goods thousands of dollars of luxury goods went <laughs> and i just kind of fell off i'm like you know what enough is enough but i got back on track so i fell off just for a couple weeks I bought $1,800 bum bag and $500 this and a couple hundred dollars this and that, blah, blah, blah. It was fun, but then I was like, okay, this is enough. I have to get back on track. So, my biggest motivation, however my debt-free journey started, I don't know how I came across Dave Ramsey in Germany. I do not know. I have no idea. I just, online, you just get tired of stuff. You start researching stuff. You want to know things or whatever. He came across my screen and I got instantly hooked. I was in Germany. I literally took a erasable marker and wrote across our refrigerator. I wish I could find a picture. I'm gonna look and see if I have one. I wrote across debt-free journey. And I listed all of our bills on our refrigerator. Just writ, wrote, just wrote on the refrigerator. And of course you can just take bleach and a eraser and just wipe it off the refrigerator. But that's where it started in Germany. This started a couple years ago back then. A little poster board like this after we transition back to the state, I go through and I mark off everything we've accomplished. So one, I think once I started this video a couple months ago, I wanna say what, February, we were about $19,000 
in the in the rears or in, you know in debt or whatever like 19,000 or something I don't remember if I, if I um, started with that amount or not but down here is the amount it says $19,153.51 and I said by the end of this year I want it all is gone you guys have to write yourself down this is one dollar this is so good for budgeting I have so many budgeting tools but because we don't have a ton of household bills it's easier for me to write it like this for me personally and we live in military housing so we do not pay for water lights gas everything is included once they take his um housing allotment out and pay the the housing development because he, he don't even get the money it goes automatically to them and then they disperse his check they'll do whatever is left they'll divide it after all the taxes and all that of course you know insurance and all that stuff they split it and he brings in his couple thousand dollars every two weeks. So for the month of July, I worked 100 plus hours. Um, that first two weeks, the second two weeks, I worked, bust my butt. So that was my income. Dornell has his regular income. And then all of our side hustles, I got money, a little bit of change from YouTube. I wasn't really posting a whole bunch because I was working. So I didn't really get too, too much off of YouTube, but I got enough to help out. Um, so YouTube was my side hustle and selling my decor. Grinnell was, um, his side hustle was photography. So that's what we had to come up with different things to bring in more cash to cash flow this. Okay? And we cash flow items as well. If you have like water, electric, gas, this may not be so good. I do have some budgeting things that I want to start incorporating into this because we're so close to paying this debt off. But that's not here today. I'll share that ne next time because I just, when I was cleaning my closet, I came across them. I was like, okay, I'm going to incorporate them highlighters is all i needed a book and highlighters and these different highlighters represent different things of course the green is money the pink is paid in full the orange is like a revolving like this is insurance that's that's orange there so that's what that means and this blue is meaning um like this is tires in an alignment like we had to get this particular week we had to get the car um, aligned and some new tires okay so of course that's not gonna be revolving, that's not a monthly bill, and that's not part of savings. So that's why I specifically made blue for things that may come out about the blue, or um, you know, something like that, like wheel alignments and things like that. What I do so here, so like at the top, I'll write how much Dronel is bringing in for that two week period. And then at the bottom, down here is what I bring in. Even if we get paid the same day or whatever, I'll just still put his money up here, my money down here. I don't know why I do it that way. It's just what I do, okay? And then like, um, you may see two greens, like here, some the, the months that I'll get YouTube and paid, I'll put my two down here. Okay, look, you see this? This don't even have highlight. This is just bills that we just got, we just paid off. I didn't even worry about, I put in the money in green and what we paid off and yeah. And then these, the, you see the two greens here? That was my regular check and my YouTube, Dornell's pay. And then these were one, two, three. We were able to knock out three bills right there. So this was in July. I was just so busy just working. Like I was barely having time to do anything. And then sometimes I'll put like little sticky notes for what's the balance on things that I want to pay off and stuff like that. So within that time frame, Dornell wanted to purchase a air conditioner. Um, so we, what we did was, because it wasn't really in a budget, but it was really getting so hot in the garage. So what we did was go to QVC, cause it's no interest. You're not using a credit card and all that stuff. We used our debit card and we paid one bill, literally one payment to get the air condition home. And then we ended up buying my son a computer because his computer was down and he would use my work computer, but I just was not feeling comfortable with him on my work computer. Um, so I ended up getting him his his own computer so he could leave me alone. And it really was, it was like a out of the blue spirit of moment. So we just used QVC as a stepping stone, but we literally only paid one month, one payment. And the following month, all of my money that we made from selling my um, home decor, like the 700 plus dollars, we took all of that money and then a little bit more money from our checks and paid off all of QVC. So that is part of the $8,000 that I posted that we paid off within that month, okay? Because his air conditioner was about 700 and the computer was about three something. 
So that's a thousand dollars instantly just on that. Let me tell you. So the air conditioner was seven hundred and twenty-five dollars plus tax, and I don't know if he had to pay shipping or not. So he, if we would have kept it, it would have been one hundred and forty-five dollars every month if we would have continued. And it, that payment was not even supposed to be due and finished until. Um, the end of the month, end of the year, December, but we already just paid it off. So $750, um, $25, 700 so just without taxes or anything, we're looking at $1,075 $1, just in those two things that were able to be paid off that was not planned or anything like that. Okay, so with that, the QVC helped us just to get moving alone you know if we would have needed to take another month but being that we were able to speed up things by selling the decor it helped and it was like so selling the decor came out the blue because it wasn't planned and having the air conditioning and computer wasn't planned so they like washed each other out which was perfect so we're gonna move on from that then what we did we started paying off um uh let me just pull it up i know i'm talking a lot but i can't explain it this was my life this was this right here writing down our monthly bills our um revolving bills and our debts that we had that we wanted to pay off it helped like i had set a goal okay i'll say look we're gonna attack this bill and i go specifically okay we'll attack this bill. i didn't necessarily follow the snowball per se i did it what bill irritated me the most if that makes sense <laughs> So like right now, I have Best Buy. It's still at 0% interest all the way till next year. Now that I've gotten all of these other things paid off, that bill is irritating me because it's just still there and it just won't go away. Like I'm just paying it. Well, I've already, it's $2,000 bill. I've already got it down to 973. So that means I paid one big thousand dollars at one point and then I, I was, content with it then i moved on to another bill and i got that so i'm kind of like doing what works for us but realistically if you want to get the mojo you're supposed to list all your debts smallest to largest if, you, if that works for you and then knock them out so you can feel the mojo but i really just did what annoyed me the most so after best buy i'm going to be finishing up my capital one which is um what i just i paid half of it my last check right now and i just got 650 dollars left and i'll be done with that one so i wanted to i kept seeing that balance at like 30 it was just driving me crazy but i didn't really plan it but i just wanted it gone so i just put half just to make me feel better so i can get to the next two weeks so i can pay it completely off okay because if you're supposed to list your bills smallest to largest i had some bills that we paid completely off that were higher or larger sums but they bothered me the more so i paid them first since i just wanted to get rid of them because they were just getting on my nerves you know like navy finally paid off so we've been playing with navy they were closed cards two of them two closed cards from navy and like i was saying every every since germany i had them you know take two two hundred dollars um and they were taking two hundred dollars um up and up this year up upwards of this year just up until um july i had them taking this and then i stopped it in july because in july 14th right before a day before my birthday i was able to pay off my navy card zero dollars in full so i paid that bill off that was my little reward to myself to pay it off is zero balance okay so then that means that was my card by myself whatever so i paid that off and then we had a joint card together and what i did with that was the next check since that bill was paid off the next check um that card literally was three thousand so it was like thirty five hundred dollars right so what i had them to do uh, and this took most of all of our money, but I didn't care. He was a little <laughs> uh, frustrated that all of our money, literally, we got paid. Both of us got paid. And within 10 minutes, most of all of our money was gone. We're not talking about savings and stuff like that, but most of all of our check was gone. Because I, what I do is move the money to our bill account because I don't let them take the money out of our main account. And it was just so heart rate. So this is what's motivating me and keeping me. I cannot continue to work every single day. Be annoyed on the phones, 
freezing cold in my living room <laughs> to be giving all of my money away. I cannot do it for the rest of my life. I refuse to do it. So this is where the motivation came. When I literally clicked onto our bank account through the app and transferred most of the money over to the bill account so these people can get their money really, really um, affected me emotionally because you worked, I bust my butt over 100 plus hours. And you know you only really do 80 hours. I did 100 plus hours just to transfer all of that money out was heartbreaking. <laughs> I'm not even playing with y'all. So once, okay, so mid-July, that's what I did. I paid my thing off. So whatever money was left, we were able to pay insurance, of course. I always make sure that's good. We pay cable bill. We have insurance. Okay, let me tell you what I do for insurance. So instead of being overwhelmed with insurance, once a month, one large bill, I just have them to split it. So every check, regardless what, so every check I knew I had to pay insurance, every check I knew that I was paying my Navy bill up until now, right? So I would take, literally take the insurance money and have them divide it. And they would just automatically draft half of whatever, like hundred some dollars this check, hundred some dollars next check. And that would pay, that's including our insurance, renter's insurance. Please, if you do not have renter's insurance, I stress that to you. It does not cost a lot of money, but it's definitely worth having. Um, so renter's insurance, regular ins house insurance, and all of that comes out. And they just, they put in one big bill and then divide it by two. That is a hack. That is a life hack. That is a life hack. You need to do it. If you're overwhelmed with big hundreds of dollars worth of money, split them in half. If you get paid bi-weekly or twice a month, it will save you so much. I wish I would have did that when we were younger because insurance has been one of my hardest bills to date. The most important bills, one of the most important bills to have, but it was just always a hard time for me until I got a couple years, like years and years ago, I started doing it, incorporating, I just felt half. It works, it worked. And then in Germany, we had to carry like a million dollars worth of insurance because they're conversion rate and all of that so yeah our insurance over in germany was a lot of money so we were paying like 400 plus dollars a month insur insurance and we didn't even have like new cards or anything it's just we have renter's insurance and we have to carry a specific amount over there when you're driving on their roads but I, again i would have them take a 200 some dollars here 200 some dollars here and they and it just automatically came out the account and i never lapsed never had any debt problems ever since back in the day i started that okay so with that being said no matter what insurance is going to come out every two weeks and for us, i'm trying to get to another one that's um i kind of fell off with the highlighter in july and see that i um did i just was writing down the bills because i was just look you see this this don't even have highlight this is just bills that we just got we just paid off I didn't even worry about, I put in the money in green and what we paid off and yeah. Let me drop some of my secret sauce on you guys. We did not receive any inheritance. We did not receive any bonuses. The only thing we did was work. Side hustles and work more. In the month of July, I was blessed enough to have unlimited overtime. So for the whole month, up until like the last week, but for literally the whole month, Cause I think July had five weeks and I think the first four weeks I did a hundred plus hours every two, um, two weeks. So every, this one had like a hundred plus hours. This one had a hundred plus hours. So when I got this check and this check, it reflected. So that was like an extra 700 some dollars just by working overtime. Okay. That's just me alone. Okay. So within that time frame from July 14th, through August 14th, that's three checks. So you got paid July 14th, August 1st, August 14th. That's six checks coming into the home, right? Within those six checks, then we also, Dornell does photography, so he got money for photography, and I got money from YouTube, and 
what was some other money his money just really came from photo shoots like he would charge a hundred plus dollars to do this a couple hours for this and that so he had quite a bit of photo shoots coming in and out um for the month of july and up now like he's at a photo shoot right now and he had two today actually and i was bringing in extra money oh and me selling my decor and some of our home furnishings that helped as well we made about seven plus hundred dollars just by selling stuff and i didn't even sell everything that i'm going to get rid of but just by doing those things where we were able to just to bring in extra income i'm at to the point where we're so close to moving and retiring by the end of the year and i have to get this debt behind us so i can start um accumulating money to retire you know not money to retire it, the military is going to move us 100 percent, of course but i still want to make sure that we have you know because this is a new this is all new test we don't know what's gonna what to expect or anything like that especially with this COVID, you never know so just having a little cushion to move around and breathe is definitely a reason out the way we don't need a lot of money i don't leave the house to go to work we got food here we just make do jordell just need gas and his little bad habit and then that's it like that's it we don't need nothing else we're not going out to eat a lot we may go here and there you may see us go here and there when we hanging out together um but for the most part we don't eat out a lot we don't oh, like go starbucks um i don't pay to get my hair done my nails or like once a month if that and so we just eliminate expenses contentment you have to find contentment i haven't purchased not one thing from the home decor stores i haven't even been in home goods in weeks it just haven't been because i just didn't want the temptation there i just like you know what and when i did go i was like so unimpressed and i was like i'm not standing in this 100 degree weather to go spend my money like i can't so i was buying luxury goods so that's why i really kind of fell off the home door because my money was going to luxury goods okay so moving forward time we, ha we have to sacrifice again so we're getting all this money in but yet all of it is pretty much going to bills because we're not paying for household bills we're only paying for cable make those a couple hundred dollars put that aside and then just everything else goes to bill to debt that's it that's all we've been doing that's it so now we're down to Best Buy, which is $9.73. My Capital One is $6.50. And Dornell's Capital One is back up again. Um, that was actually paid all the way off. <laughs> uh, it's like two grand on there. All right. So we have about four grand left. We already came up with a plan to pay off Best Buy because it's just, like I said, when it nags me and it annoys me, it's a 0% interest, by the way. So I'm literally not paying nothing extra. I just don't want to deal with it. I just don't want to. I've already paid half of it off because the original bill was $2,000. Um, but I can't. So we're down to $9.73 and I'll be done. Two credit card bills left. My Capital One, which is $650. Of course, I'm going to pay that off when I get paid on... Um, August 31st and Dornell is going to pay majority of it because now I have to start being intentional with start saving for moving okay so I'm going to pay as much as possible and I'm going to do my best to come up with other ways to sell some more things to get his credit card paid off but if not for sure the 31st of August definitely definitely by September 15th all our bills will all those little credit cards all of this stuff will be zero for the heroes okay zero for the <laughs> so i think that's it there is no magic potion you have to be content you have to know what's important i know it's hard times for people but if you want it done i promise you if you start somewhere start somewhere you will see a light and once you start progressing money start coming in you start finding side hustles you're able to do this the kids start getting a little bit more settled back in you know you will be able to do a little bit more you know if you know how to do hair braid little girls hair or if you know how to do like Dornell, photography um for myself i picked up the camera and just did what i could do for youtube just to have something to come in um what else do we come up with 
um, if you can pick up something else. I looked into um, doing a grocery thing because um, you know a lot of people are online groceries but they didn't have that here in my area. Um, but I did consider it, you know? I even tried to tease them. I'm like, won't you go, since you have so much time off now that you've got your retirement packet, won't you go deliver us pizzas? He ain't feeling that yet. He like, yeah, no, I, I wake my, I wake up. I just wanted to get this stuff done. But now that I see a light at the end of the tunnel, it's okay. We'll just, but I, listen, I'm still encouraging. But now that he got his, he picked up the photography thing. So the pizza is not really. But my point is just find something to do to get some more revenue. That's it. You have to balance that. Less going out. And more coming in like it's oh when I saw this this stuff and this is not everything that's on here I don't even see the card thing on here so I don't know where that happened like our original card note that was on here only thing that's on here was uh, uh, the bike but I don't see the the balance for the car on here yeah so I just got I became obsessed with writing the numbers down and figuring out it was like a game to me what can I do to get this balance paid off how do, what do I have to move around? What do I have to sacrifice? So I don't, I haven't, yeah, I just get motivated. And when I fell off from, um, in July, I had stopped watching Dave Ramsey <laughs> as much. So I noticed that my motivation, my contentment was tested because I wasn't sticking to my plan. I fell off. So I would just write down every, he, he was like, can you stop talking about this? So I would find my escape place because that wasn't his happy place. I would find it through watching other people with their debt-free scream. So that motivated me to watch somebody else's accomplishment. I'm like, I can do it too. You know, so me watching them, me watching somebody else's accomplishments kept me motivated and everything. I really wish I could show y'all, but in here I just took the front of the, the book, if you can look in there, and I just put the highlighter the color, uh, whichever meant what. So the pink was paid off. The orange is monthly bills. The yellow was for savings. I stopped kind of using a yellow. I see, I started using just savings and all of that. Okay, okay, before you start off any debt, before you start off any debt, start having a emergency fund saved up. So you may see here in this little corner, that's our little emergency fund that I um, had saved up. Oh, we had quite a bit back in um, May. <laughs> it kind of went down a little bit because we you, were trying to get April to school and do all that stuff. But yeah, <laughs> I just see that now that I'm back in August and I, I'm, I'm on the month of May. Um, yeah. I did so good with my colors um, for May. I see July, mm -mm, not so much. Write it down and come up with ways. What can I do? what I'm gonna sacrifice, who I'm gonna call and set up an arrangement. Here goes another tip. If you call and get your bills set up, this is what you need to do. Have a secondary account. Maybe you have your main account and if you have online banking or an app, you can go on, log on every month and transfer the money over into a, another account. You do not want them to have access to your main direct deposit account. I just from working in the banking field you if you owe somebody or if you're in collections or all that you do not want them to have your main account you will have to come up with either using a prepay card and just load it every month and make a call in and make a payment or like I do I see my bank we don't have to keep a balance or anything like that we just have completely free military accounts or whatever so it's no problem for us to have 50,000 accounts like my kids they have their own little um debit card debit um, checking accounts we all I just have a lot of accounts for different reasons one of them I named it extra I don't know why um but that's just the name of our bill account is called extra so i would take it from our main account i don't even have a main i don't even have a name for our main account <laughs> that's the only one i named a different name i guess so i can just know that it's the bill account so we don't really do anything like if i have my um music for youtube or something like that i don't want them to have my main account i do have netflix coming out of my main account which I kind of should change, but we've been having Netflix for so many during years. It's just rocked out like that. But like my 
um, music for YouTube that comes out every month or something like that, I have that in my bill account because I don't want them to have, I don't want all these people to have my main account information because it's just too much when you have to cancel your debit card and it's just too, too much. So that's what I did. So that money that I told you that they were taking out every two weeks, I would transfer the money over to that account. So once that money is in there, even if they try to get more money, once it's gone, that's it. There's no more money in there until I go back and transfer money, money in there every two weeks. It was like clockwork. I knew as soon as it got paid, I'll just instantly log on, transfer it over, and I didn't have to worry about it. And what I also did with those two accounts, I also had my savings as a backup. So if for whatever reason, somebody fell ill, something happened, I was unable to log on and do a transfer. I knew for sure I already had money in my savings account, which covered those two accounts. So if something fell short or I mismanaged or I misbudged it that year, that, that check, we knew we were covered in our savings. But that's only going to work if you have an emergency fund saved up. So that, that's all I can recommend is having build that up so you can have at least your thousand dollars and then here that's when you start working on the debt. I know it sounds unattainable to some people and it's a lot but it is joyful. You get so much gratification when you see when you're able to just a lot like you don't understand. <laughs> Me paying that Navy off like that is like life goals. I, I've been paying that little $100 for years. That little $100 every two weeks. That bill started at $5,000 and I was able to get it down quite a bit without making any. I didn't make any more large payments up until then. I just had them every month take out or every two weeks take out two. Um, we finally got up to $200, probably up to this last year, year and a half. They were taking a 200, but up until then it was 100. And again, they were taking, they'll put a hundred dollars and we're talking about the balance started five, $6,000 and then a hundred dollars. Okay. So now what you down to 4,900, then you take another hundred dollars, 4,800. You know, it seems like it's never going to go away, but eventually you, one day you look up and your balance is below two thousand dollars like oh yeah oh yeah see i could have paid it out back in july but then i started falling off but i was like oh, i was getting excited i knew that it was coming to an end but then you'll start seeing it come down a little bit a little bit more and again the only reason i did it we didn't accumulate any more interest and the balance was not going up whatever our balance was closed at at that point that was the balance we paid off we don't pay we didn't pay any extra on it because I didn't allow it to leave and go to an actual collection agent. So I was playing directly back to Navy. I, I caught it in time as we were transitioning, but I contacted them and I got on a payment arrangement in time before they sent it off to a third party collections. And then, then that's a whole different ball game from there. Um, well, I lost my train of thought. Only thing I can say is start somewhere, write down what you have to do before you could do anything, even before you save money. Find a book, find a cute journal, find something. List whatever you have to do. Get a poster board, write it on your refrigerator, write it on your command center. My kids knew what we were doing, I, you know, everything. Um, and them coming home from school, that kind of lessened the cost on buying the kids clothes and this and that. Actually, by keeping them home, only thing that really, really went up was the food bill. Um, and we were, I was making, um, because we were on this debt free journey at the beginning, I was, before I started really like working and stuff, we would go to the school because they would give you free food. So you could go over there and get like little sack lunches. It wasn't nothing major, but they would give them like fruits, um, like little sandwiches. Sometimes they would have hot lunches, but sometimes it was cold, you know, and they would pick and choose what they want. They didn't eat all that stuff all the time. Um, but it was still a way to cut down on some snacks here for the kids um, because they were eat the snacks there. They have they gave good name brand snacks as well, like little bitty little packs of cookies, um, uh, apple sauces, fruit cups, like that kind of stuff adds up when you have to purchase that stuff yourself. Um, yeah, but then I think when they caught a case 
of corona i stopped going over there as soon as they said it wasn't even, and it the the funny thing is it wasn't even not funny but the it wasn't even the school that we were going to get our food from but it was just psychologically i just stopped but we were doing that for a, a quite a while go over there every day the kids would have to be in the car they hated it but it i didn't care i, I made it as a, a game i turned it into a little joke for us every day we pile in the car go get our little free meals i'll sing little funny songs they'll be annoyed i didn't care because at the end of the day i knew that it was for us to reach a bigger goal so for them to be annoyed because we're going to get free school lunch but it's helping me out with the grocery bill and not having to pay Hey, it's a win-win for me. I don't, I, it, they're children. Like you have to put your foot down. You can't be little brats all the time. You have to start with getting a book. Once you get your book, you have to, you can't neglect nothing else. You have to be honest. You have to write everything down. Even, even if you don't want to get your um, spouse on board, you just have to write it down, go do research. And then y'all come together. He really wasn't never on board. He just like, okay, I'll listen to you. Uh, I think he was just like over living check to check. They all wrote down, come up with a cute little system. Highlighters work for me because I didn't feel like dealing with stickers and all that, but do highlighters, section them off. And then after that, start working on getting your thousand dollars saved up. It's not a lot, but it's a lot. It's a, not a lot, but it's a lot. So if you don't, if you never had it, and you to work to build up to getting a thousand dollars saved you can't think about oh i need gas oh i need this you have to come up when we got the stimulus check or you get income tax something you have to get something somewhere somehow get the thousand dollars saved and don't touch it ever for no reason ever Just leave it there and then you move on to your debts if $25, if you can come up with $25, you sacrifice, hey, I won't go and get this cup of coffee or I won't go get my nails done, so whatever. Skip, split your bills into two. If you get paid bi-weekly in um, first of the month, split it. And my other tip will be contentment. Write it down, manifest it, and be content until you're through. Thank you so much for watching. Love you, love you, love you. If I can help you, message me below or inbox me on Instagram. I'm here for you. I do what I can do to respond to you guys. Thank you so much. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.